Hi, today I'd like to talk about using the beat repeat audio effect. Now, I know there's already quite a few videos on using the beat repeat effect, but most of them are about using the effect on an actual beat, like a drum beat, or quite popular among DJs is using the beat repeat on the whole song. And what I'd like to show you is how it can also be applied to uh, chords and even a bass. So let's have a look at what we have lined up so far. In the first track I have a, a sample from the Hydrogen Progressive Tools uh, sample pack. So let's listen to this one without anything applied to it. So this is the pure sample. Now the second track is uh, something I'll explain later. The bass track is a simple operator. I think it's a default one. Yeah, it comes with the uh, Ableton Live. So it's the bass dirty bridge. Next track is another operator, but I think this one, yeah, this is not a default one. It comes with the pure magnetic uh, juice live pack. It's called Soft Light, and I picked that one because it does uh, arpeggios. So let's have a quick listen. Stop this. So with nothing applied to it, this is what it sounds like. Next one is another operator. I think again it's a default one that comes with Ableton Live. It's called Fast and Fat. Next is Loop Samples. Again from the Hydrogen sample pack. And next to that I have a custom drum rack that I made from the Hydrogen prog Progressive Tools sample. So it has a bunch of kicks and claps and hi-hats. And it allows me to uh, quickly put together a beat so I have something to work with. So let's listen to that beat real quick. Before we really get started, let's listen to everything combined but without the arpeggiator. So as you could hear, uh, both the chords and the bass had really long notes going on. Uh, which is kind of on purpose, because I now want to use the beat repeat to break up uh, the long notes and get some kind of uh, rhythm going. Uh, I've played around a bit with the beat repeat and came up with these settings. And the things that will have the most effect on the, on the rhythm is the, the offset, the grid over here and the filter. So let's have a listen to that. This, uh, I'll solo the chords, gonna disable the beat repeat, play it, and I'll enable the beat repeat while it's playing. So as you can hear, we now have some kind of rhythm going on. And once I have found a setting that I like, what I do is I have a separate audio track here and I'll freeze this track. And now I can control drag this clip here into a new audio track and it will give me the actual audio. So it, it, it will create a sample for me. So this way I can now go ahead and freeze the track again and maybe change some settings, look for some other interesting rhythms 
and do the same thing uh, over and over until you have a few uh, copies that you can work with. So I already had three of them. Let's listen to them. So all these three uh, samples here are created from this one sample, just with different beat repeat settings. Let's solo the track. So as you can hear, three very different rhythmical things, but all three of them do come from the same uh, sample. Now let's have a quick look at the bass. As I mentioned earlier, it's an operator and it has a sidechain compressor. Uh, so it kind of gets out of the way from uh, the drums and I added the beat repeat. I think, let me check. I think these are mostly s similar settings to what I have in the chords. Uh, they're a bit different. The grid is different and of course the filter is different. But more or less the same settings because I want the rhythm of the bass to match the rhythm of the chords. Again let's listen to the track with and without the beat repeat. And the arpeggiator should be the same as the bass, I mean the beat repeat, should be the same as the bass. I think the only di main difference is the filter setting. So let's listen to that real quick. And let's now listen to everything together. So beat on it, loop on it. I'll enable all the compressors and all the beat repeats. Let me quickly check. Okay. Here we go. Have a look at the next combination. It's the same bass instrument, different bass line, arpeggiator. Then instead of the sample, I used the operator for the chords. So I added some chords here with sidechain compression with a beat repeat. Then I'm gonna have a loop and I'm gonna have a beat. Let's listen to that real quick. Now, <clears throat> what I want to do here is I have the arpeggiator and the chords going. So let's disable everything else. Let's just listen to those two together. kind of sound nice together so what I did was uh, rather than freeze one track and or freeze both tracks separately and then get two separate uh, wave samples I combined them and the way I did that was by creating a new audio track 
opening the I.O. and then set the audio from to resampling. I already have that over here, so I'm going to delete that one. And then set the monitor to in. Now what that does is it captures whatever is sent to the master and then uh, you can record it. So let me show you how that works. Uh, so I want to record these two at the same time and it's going to create one, one sample. Okay, that's enough because I only need four bars. So let's trim this. There we go. Now I can disable these and have a listen. As you can hear, uh, some rhythmic things going on again, but basically starting from all long notes and getting the rhythm going by using the beat repeat. Now for this last one, I use the sample again. Let's listen to it real quick without the beat repeat. So then I applied a beat repeat to it, captured it, or so froze the track and made a copy of it, which is this one over here. And I also have added a, uh, a equalizer. Where is it? It's the EQ8. And I have assigned some MIDI mappings to my MIDI keyboard. So if I turn a few knobs on the keyboard what happens is this I can do this and I can turn this up uh, let's turn this on As you can hear some nice effects um, and all, all pretty easy to be honest because you just start from some uh, chord sample smack a beat repeat on it and turn the knobs until you find something interesting <laughs> and then record it uh, so that's basically it thanks for watching I'll just finish and let this play for a, for a bit hope you enjoyed it